Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Niche. My name is e Rose, and we're currently playing the Queen Bee Challenge and our current queen of our tribe is Queen Fawn and she has just had her last baby um, from last episode who was Sweet Pea who was a very very interesting little girl born from this wandering creature that we found, Rod, who has a very special um, K immunity that we've never seen before and he also has D immunity too that is not very uh, prevalent with our tribe so I'm pretty excited to be able to breed Rod with our queen to make tons and tons of babies with different immunities so that they will be healthy in the future. Um, but yeah, so we're going to continue on. We're going to make sure that we have another baby uh, with Rod. Let's see, there is another nest right here, so we might as well go ahead. And why don't we move the queen? Um, let's see. We'll move him there closer, and then we can move the queen right in there. And then what we can do is the queen... Oh, okay. Go in there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're going to make a baby. There we go. We're going to make a baby. Um, and then Rod can go ahead and get those berries. Uh, sweet pea. She's still too little to get out of the nest right now. And then Opal, she can go ahead and collect all these berries too. We're doing really good at collecting tons and tons of food for our tribe. Um, that is probably what we're best at right now, which is awesome because in the other islands that we're going to go and visit, it's a lot harder to get food. So having a nice stock of food is going to be very, very efficient um, for our tribe and for our little nichelings and for the future. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the berries that we can get. And let's see, we have a little quest over here. And we also have Pocket who are kind of, they're not necessarily banished from the tribe. But they are sickly creatures, so they are coming over to this area so that do, they do not affect their family and their brothers and sisters and their mom and dad. And yeah, we just we just don't want them to make anyone else sick. Because in the newest update right now, um, if you have a creature who has the common cold, they can pass the cold to other creatures that they stand next to. So we're doing our best to make sure that they do not get sick. We do not want sickly creatures. It's not good. Not good at all. Let's go ahead and move here. We can actually have um, Bambi. Oh, Bambi's going to pass away soon, but she can actually help collect some nuts. Um, a little Dawn over here. And let's see, Gooby. Uh, we're going to leave you there for now. And Karma, you can go ahead and collect these berries. And why don't you move over here um, and start moving closer to these two berry bushes too. And Holly, why don't you come over here, sweetie? And you can try to get those berry bushes. And we can go ahead and get these. Awesome. And why don't we move Rosie? Um, down this way a little bit and we can go ahead and name our uh, move Kurnu um, who also is a sickly creature who we are also going to have to move down to this island let's go ahead and ooh, hello there a little boy a little boy ooh all right so here is a wandering creature it is a little boy um, and he has C and F immunity um, but he does have no paw which is pretty unfortunate and he does carry short-sighted eyes in his um, an active slot. Let's see. Do we have any creatures that have like C immunity? We can go ahead and search by um, different genes. Let's go ahead and search for creatures that have the C immunity to see how many creatures we have and see if he is actually beneficial to invite to join our tribe. As soon as we can find the C immunity, uh, let's go ahead and see what it looks like here once again. Uh, it looks like a little square. So let's go ahead and see. If we can find the gene that looks like a square, um, do do do. Am I not seeing it? There it is. Is that no? That's K. Where's the square? Do you guys see it? You guys probably see it right away, don't you? <laughs> oh, here it is. It's way down here. Um, yeah. It doesn't look like we have any creatures that have the uh C immunity, because if you click on one of these and try to search for it, let's say we search for, um, I know we have a lot of creatures with nimble fingers. So let's say if we went ahead and searched for that, um, all the creatures who are green highlighted have nimble fingers. So it doesn't look like any of our creatures have the C immunity. So yes, um, inviting this random little boy to join our tribe would definitely be beneficial for us. Since he does have some immunities that we do not have, and he has a little boy, so that means he can breed with the uh, new queen in the future. So we're going to go ahead and invite him to join our tribe by offering him five food. And we're going to rename him to Dots, I think. We're going to name him Dots. Um, maybe we should name him something with a C. Hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see. We can name him... Let's name him Kurt. Kurt. There we go. We're going to go ahead and name him Kurt. 
And then we will remember that he has a very special C immunity, but he's still just a little tiny baby. So he isn't going to be able to um, do anything yet. Let's go ahead and we'll leave him there for now. Hopefully he doesn't get sick uh, from the uh, little boy. Where's the little boy that's sick? Right here from Kurnu. Hopefully he doesn't get sick from Kurnu. Actually, we can move him. Why don't we move him here? Maybe that will give him a better chance of not getting sick from a uh, poor little Kernu over there. But I think we're going to go ahead and come over this way and see if Jelly Bean can kind of wander over here and go ahead and get this mole. And then maybe go ahead and collect that meat and then try to get the mole in the next turn. And then little Echo can actually start getting the berries from over here too. And it might be a nice idea to start moving towards this area over here because this is going to take us to the jungle island, which is the island that we want to go next to with our little tribe. But we're still working on getting some genes that we want to have. Right now in our mutation menu, we actually have um, Stinky Tail, which is really good for the jungle islands. And we also have um, Normal Eyes because our current mate um, right here, Rod, actually has bad eyes. So we want to make sure we have good eyes. Uh, but we will be increasing... The chances for different mutations for the jungle in the future. Well, let's go ahead and see what our next baby is going to be. And since Sweet Pea was the last baby born and she began with an S, we're going to name the next baby starting with a T. So let's go ahead and have an... Oh my goodness! Look at you! Oh my goodness! Look at your face! <gasps> cracker Jaw! A panda with Cracker Jaw! Oh my goodness! Look how cool that is! Um, so he does have nipple fingers. Unfortunately, he does have the blind eye and has an active slot. So that is something that we're definitely going to have to work on and make sure that we try to get out in the future. He does have the stinky tail and is an active slot. And he does carry the FNK immunity, which is pretty cool. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and move Precious Little Sweet Pea out of the nest right here. And let's go ahead and move the queen um, over this way. And we can go ahead and move Rod over here and they can breed it once again. And the queen can actually go ahead and collect these berries right there. And it oh, looks like little Kurt is growing up. Oh no, he got sick. Oh no. Um, but you can go ahead and get this bunny right there. Um, Kernu has gotten poor little Kurt sick. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can start moving him um, out. Let's see. Oh no. Uh, we can have him go in the water, but he's going to take damage, so let's just have him collect these berries. Poor Kernu. Or, poor Kurt. Uh, Kernu, you're getting Kurt sick. Don't do that. Um, but unfortunately, he can't help it. He's just a sickly creature. And that's just how it is sometimes. Um, but let's go ahead and collect the berries that are right here. There we go. And move her over this way. And if you guys can hear, my real life cat is meowing right now. Um, so I might have to go let him um, and see what he wants to do for a second. Let me go ahead and get these different types of berries and fruit, and I'll be back with you guys once I'm done checking on my precious little kitty, Milo. Hi, my my. You're a good boy, Milo. He's a good boy. And look at this little guy. I can't get over how silly. Like, oh, he just looks so unique, doesn't he? And his eyes are very unique, too. He has red and brown eyes, which gives him, like, a really interesting golden color eyes. And he has red hair on top or orange um, in the panda pattern. But we are going to name him with a T name. And we're going to go ahead and name him Taz. There we go, little Taz right here. Um, Taz is actually a name that one of my puppies um, were as a child. We had a little dog named Taz, and he was a little Westy Poo, and he was just so cute. Um, but yeah, so little Taz is right here. And we are going to go ahead and skip the turn. I did go ahead and get all the berry bushes that I could. And we're going to see what the next baby is going to be. It is going to be a baby that is going to have a U name, which is going to be kind of hard to get. And we have twins. We got twins. We got twins. Little, little, tiny twins. Oh, my goodness. Twin little baby girls. Oh, my goodness. They are not uh, identical twins, as you guys can see. Uh, we have one little girl with a panda pattern with ha that has double number fingers. She does have normal eyes, but does carry these short-sighted eyes in her inactive slot. Um, and she also has B and D immunities, all right, and she does carry a little bit of low fertility right there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and name her with a U name. We're going to go ahead and name her Uno, little Uno right here, and we're going to go ahead and name this little girl. Um, looks like she also has the double number of fingers. She unfortunately does carry the short-sighted eyes, and she also has F and K immunity and does have a little bit low fertility right there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and name her Vixen. Little Vixen right there. Oh my goodness. I love it when we get twins. Twins are so much fun. 
oh yeah oh yeah um <laughs> uh opal oh no opal's a little bit sick too isn't she oh gosh uh i started moving opal down this way because i want to start making a nice pathway to get to this jungle island over here because we are going to be thinking about going there in the future uh and then Kernu, um he's a sickly creature so we're gonna go ahead and have him pass to this side of the island and then pocket and quest can work on collecting the berries that are over in this area and you can go ahead and get these nuts too can't you there you go you can go ahead and get those nuts and we'll work on getting this mole um in the next turn unfortunately kirk is sick but he's not a sickly creature so let's go ahead and move him over here and kind of like isolate him for a little bit until he is no longer sick and then hopefully um we can go ahead and uh have him be healthy in the future especially when he's old enough to have a baby of his own uh, with the queen because he does carry the very special C immunity so we are going to go ahead and pop Taz out of the nest this way and have the queen breed with Rod and then the queen let's see is she gonna make it to this nest she will make it okay let's go have her pop in this nest and I love these little twin girls that we have it is so amazing love getting twins um we're gonna go ahead and collect some meat that we have there and go ahead and collect some berries and Ivan he's gonna go ahead and collect some berries that are over here too and little sweet pea, uh, I think what we're gonna do is start moving you down this way, little sweetie. Uh, oh, unfortunately, Kurt, you're sick. You go ahead and go stand there, sorry. Don't want you to get anybody else sick. And let's go ahead and collect some of these berries that are around this area. You're gonna do a good job. We currently have 22 members of our tribe, which is pretty good. Um, we have tons and tons of food. Oh my goodness, we have so much food. Let's go ahead and move Lily down here so she can go ahead and collect the berries from this tree. And let's see what's going on over here. We have a little jelly bean. Um, he can go ahead and collect these berries and move down this way to go ahead and collect the berries right there and maybe get that mole in the future. And Echo, uh, she can go ahead and collect that grass a little bit. And let's see. Oh my goodness, there's so much going on in this area. It's really hard to see. Um, but we'll have her stay there for now. And let's see, we can go ahead and have her pocket um, shake this tree a little bit to get some more nuts and let's see anything else that we can do we do have some moves down here which you can go ahead and have neptune collect these and let's go ahead and move her right here or him excuse me and he can go ahead and collect those nuts and same with dawn she can go ahead and collect those nuts too it looks like it's going to be dawn's last turn though unfortunately uh, she's gonna go ahead and pass away pretty soon which is pretty sad oh no and how long does Fawn? Fawn has a couple more days left too. She has four more days left. We will have to pick a brand new queen for our tribe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have another vote. Uh, I'm not too sure if we're gonna vote in this, probably this episode, we're gonna vote for the next queen um, in the comment section. So we'll go through all the different females that are eligible um, at the end of this episode. So if you wanna go ahead and vote for a queen, please put down the name of the queen you wanna have. But let's go ahead and then have our little baby who is going to have a name that starts with a W. And it looks like we have a little boy who, ooh, he's very pretty. He has the markings similar to his mother. Does not have the panda pattern though, though. Um, he also has the orange fur on top of its head, which seems to be pretty much a staple um, in a lot of our tribe. And we're going to go ahead and name him... Uh, let's go ahead and name him Walnut. <laughs> Little Walnut here. Unfortunately, he does have the poor sighted eyes. So I think what we're going to do... Um, let's see, the eyes are in the slot. Hmm. <laughs> I really want to get good eyes. All right, so I guess we will leave it here. I thought the eyes maybe we could switch it, but the eyes are right there because we are unfortunately... Because unfortunately, we are getting some creatures that carry some poor... Um, eye sights in their genes, um, but let's go ahead and move Queen Fawn. Uh, go ahead and pop her in this nest and breed once again with her mate Rod, because Rod is right now the best mate for her, because he is the only male um, other than Kurt, who is over here, who's still a little bit sick, so hopefully he can get unsick pretty soon. Uh, he should be okay since he is far away from any sickly creatures. Uh, so let's just leave him over here for now. Uh, but he would be a good mate. I'm not sure if he'll be able to mate with the queen in time. But the next queen, he for sure will be um, a nice little bachelor um, to mate with the new queen. Because he does carry a very special C immunity, which is pretty rare. Um, and he, currently he's the only member of our tribe that actually has that immunity. So he's a very special person because his name is Kurt and he has a special C immunity. Oh yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and get this over here, Lily. Uh, you can move down to this berry bush too and get some of those berries. 
and we have our sickly little creatures down this way, a little quest. Um, and they were making, we can start clearing out this area over here. We might as well um, have them go explore a little bit too. And then we can go ahead and move Pocket down this way as well. There we go. She can go ahead and get some of these berries. And then poor little Kernu um, can go ahead and collect some berries that are over in this area. There we go. And then we do have some, oh no, poor little Dawn has passed away. Dawn! We can go ahead and have Neptune kind of take over the tree. And let's see, we can have Rosie. Um, why don't we actually have her start making her way down this way. I don't want her to meet up with any sickly creatures though, so we'll have her stay here for now. And then we'll move her in the future. And then little Sweet Pea, we can go ahead and move you up here. And let's do a really quick check to see what we can hear and what we can smell after we do these. Ooh, why don't we have Jelly Bean actually come over this way and get these? Oh, two moles! Awesome! Jelly Bean! Awesome! And then we can go ahead and have Echo get those and get some of this foliage. And then we also have little Opal over here who can actually get these berries right there and get some of the grasses that are around in this area. Oh, there's a bunny right there too. Awesome! And let's do a really quick check to see what we can hear. And what we can smell, see if there's anything out of the ordinary. It looks like everything is pretty, um, pretty safe. There we go. There's some bunnies and some moles that we already know about. Um, and a couple of root areas. There's a clam over there. All right, all right. Good to know. Good to know. And the next baby that we're going to have is going to have be a baby that has. A U name? No, an X name. An X name, because little Walnut here was born with a W name. So let's go ahead and skip to the next turn to see what baby we're going to have next. Ooh! A precious little girl that has the coloration of her father, Rod, over here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, she has F and D immunity. She does have a little bit low fertility right there. Um, she has normal eyes, but unfortunately she does carry the blind eye in her inactive slot. Um, she also has double number of fingers. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and name her let's see it's pretty hard to come up with x names um x should name her x-ray i think we're gonna name her x-ray let's go ahead and name her x-ray <laughs> oh my goodness little x-ray here oh my gosh she's so cute and then the queen has two more days left so let's go ahead and let the queen um live out her life so let's go ahead and move her to this nest. Let's go ahead and pop Walnut out of here. Move the queen over here and move Rod over this way. And the queen can go ahead and breed with Rod. And let's go ahead and get some of these berries. There we go. Oh, there's a mole right there. We can go ahead and get that mole really quickly. And we might as well, let's see. We can kind of have Gooby come over here, or Gobi, I should say, Gobi. Come over here and get that meat for us. There we go. Go ahead and get these right there. Oh my gosh, so much food. I love it. Oh, oops. I moved you out. There we go. There we go. We're going to move you. Uh, you can actually come over here and Karma can go ahead and check on that berry bush. And we can go ahead and shake this tree. Oh gosh, I just did a bunch of shaking tree, but no tree shaker came out. No tree shaker. Um, let's go ahead and get these nuts out here and shake the tree. There we go. We got some nuts from that tree. Which is pretty nice. Uh, we do have a little mole over here. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Um, there's no real good way for us to get him right now. So let's go ahead and just collect some berries over here. And we could have Pocket go ahead and collect these berries. And move her over here to collect those different foliages. And move Quest to come over here and collect those berries. And move this way. And then Opal is actually over here too. Uh, she can go ahead and collect those berries too and get close to that bunny and go ahead and get that bunny. And then I do want to start moving Rosie um, and some of the other creatures out this way too. So let's go ahead and move Rosie. Ooh, Rosie might be a good um, queen for the next generation. Ooh, she might be someone someone to look after, someone to look and see, or a little Sweet Pea. Ooh. ooh, 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 ooh. Let's go ahead and move Sweet Pea out this way. And then it looks like Kurt is no longer sickly, which is pretty nice. So we can go ahead and move him. Uh, let's see, he doesn't have any abilities to actually get any berries, but he can go ahead and get those bunnies. So let's go ahead and get those bunnies. We can go ahead and get him um, some meat that way. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, let's do a really quick check to see what's going on over here. We do have some creatures over here. 
Um, let's go ahead and get this meat. There we go. Go ahead and get these berry bushes. Almost 800 food. Oh my goodness. We are doing so good on the food situation. All right. Really quick check. All right. Next baby we're going to have is going to have a Y name. Why do you ask? Hmm? Why do you ask? Let's go ahead and see what the next baby is going to be. When it, this little baby brought rain and it is a perfect little panda girl who has the normal eyes and also has nimble fingers and claw. She has F and K immunity. She just carry a little bit of low fertility though. Um, we're going to go ahead and name her Ying. Um, maybe Ying and Yang. Let's go ahead and name her Ying and Yang. <laughs> Precious little baby girl. Um, and she might be the last daughter from the queen. Uh, she only has one more day left, so we're gonna have one more baby with her, uh, with Rod here. So let's go ahead and move her over this way. And go ahead and have the berries this right here. And let's go ahead and breed her with Rod. And Rod, your mate's gonna pass away, buddy. Oh no. The queen, this is the last day that the queen is going to reign. She had a good reign. She made lots of precious and healthy little babies. Also a couple babies who were a little bit sickly, but that's okay. Um, you know, she, she was a young mother and she took on this tribe and she really enforced everyone getting lots and lots of food and it really encouraged people to go and hunt uh, the different moles that are around the area as well to go ahead and get food from that way. And it definitely has helped a lot. Let's go ahead and move Vixen down this way, too. And let's go ahead and have Kurt get that. Can you get this bunny? There we go. Kurt can go ahead and get those bunnies. Kurt is proving to be a good bunny hunter, despite the fact that he does have no paw in one of his um, little paw slots. And let's go ahead and move Marshmallow this way. And Jellymane, you can go ahead and get that. All these berries. Oh my goodness, I love it. I'm loving it. And Sweet Pea is now an adult. Hello, Sweet Pea, and welcome to adulthood. And Rosie, you can go ahead and collect some of this foliage that is in the area. And little Opal, you can go ahead and collect these berries right there and move a little bit closer to the jungle island. And Quest is unfortunately a little sickly creature, so we gotta move him down here um, so he doesn't infect um, the other members of the tribe that are starting to move out this way. And then Pocket, you can go ahead and collect these berries. There we go. And a poor little Kernu, you can go ahead and collect these berries as well. And I think... Let's see, we have little... Neptune over here. You can go ahead and get these nuts. There we go. And the last baby that the queen is going to have is going to be a Z name baby. Ooh, a little Z name baby, which is going to be nice to end the queen's reign. So let's go ahead and let her have her last little baby. And it is a little boy um, who we are going to name Zango. Little Zango here. All right, so the queen has passed away, and it's time for us to choose another queen for our tribe. And the queen is the only member of the tribe who can have babies of her own. And let's go ahead and take a look at all the different females that we have. And you guys can vote down in the comment section to vote for your favorite um, person who you want to become queen. And we can have her reign in the next episode. So over here we have little Uno. Um, she has B and D immunity. She has high fertility, also a little bit of low fertility. Um, she does carry the short-sighted eye. She has nimble fingers, and you guys can see the rest of her traits as well. Um, she does carry the antlers, but unfortunately it's in her inactive slot, not in her main. So that is little Uno. And then X-Ray, she carries F and D immunity. She also carries a little bit of low fertility. She does have the blind eye in her inactive slot, and she does have some nimble fingers and some different traits like so. Um, Ying and Yang is a little panda girl who has good eyesight on both of her slats, nimble fingers and claws. Um, she has high fertility and a little bit of low fertility. She does have F and K immunity. Um, and overall she's pretty well rounded. Um, she does have a little swimming tail. Um, she has the medium tail. So she might be actually a good contender, um, for queen, but I'll let you guys decide. And then Vixen here, she has double nimble fingers. And she has a big nose, and she does carry the short-sighted eyes in her inactive slot. And she has F and K immunity, a little bit of low fertility right there. And then a sweet P. Unfortunately, she does carry a little bit of blind eye right there, double and nimble fingers. She has B and K immunity, a little bit of low fertility right there. And then Opal, um, she, good eyesight, has nimble fingers and runner's leg. 
um, good fertility and FNA immunity. And Pocket um, has good eyesight. She has nimble fingers and runner's leg. She has, oh, she's sickly though, so she has double F immunity. And then Rosie is double nimble fingers, double good eyes. She has B and A immunity, good fertility. And overall, everything seems pretty good for her. So maybe little Rosie can be the next queen. She has these poisonous fangs too, so it should be interesting. And then Gooby, um, he has, or she, excuse me, G and A immunity, normal fertility, good eyesight, and nimble fingers, and runner's leg, and all these other traits as well. And then Holly, um, she has F and B immunity, good eyes, and double runner's leg, and good fertility, and everything else seems to be pretty good as well. And then we have Karma, who I know a lot of people wanted Karma to be the queen in the last turn. I wonder how many... We'll go ahead and check and see how old Karma is in just a second, but she has G and B immunity. She has high fertility, um, double nib of fingers, and then Lily um, has G and A immunity, high fertility, um, normal eyes, and double nib of fingers as well. But I feel like Lily and Karma are pretty old. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Let's see, is this Karma over here? Oh, she does. She has six days left. Um, all right, but yeah. So those are the females that are you guys can vote for to see who you want to become the next queen. You can always go back in the episode and kind of look at their traits a little bit more closely if you would like to, but please vote down in the comment sections who you want to be the next queen and reign our little queen bee challenge tribe. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!